Hi everyone. Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word at Home with Saints John and Paul Parrish. Today is the 11th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Wait a minute. Ordinary Time? We're back to that already? Do you know what color the altar will be for Ordinary Time? Green. We're back to green. See if you see Father wearing green vestments this weekend. Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. I have a question with that for you. How many of you have ever planted something? I have my planters here and some seeds. We're going to talk about some seeds today in our story. But first, let's start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, open our minds and hearts to hear your message. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Well, here we are. I'm out here planting in my planter box, and I have some herbs growing. I have basil, and I have cilantro in these two boxes. Have you guys ever planted anything? Today, our story is about a seed. When you start plants, a lot of times we start them from seeds. Do you know why Jesus uses a story about a seed to tell us about the kingdom of God? We're going to find out more about that. But often, Jesus talks about using a parable to tell stories or to tell his lessons. So he uses a story to help people learn things. Those are things they already knew about. They knew about planting and seeds. So that helps him, helps them understand what he's talking about. Let's listen to our story today. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the gospel of Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips and in my heart. What shall we say the kingdom of God is like? asked Jesus. What parable shall we use to explain it? It is like this. A man takes a mustard seed, the smallest seed in the world, and plants it in the ground. After a while, it grows up and becomes the biggest of all the plants. It puts out such large branches that the birds come and make their nests in its shade. Jesus preached his message to the people using many other parables like these. He told them as much as they could understand. He would not speak to them without using parables. But when he was alone with his disciples, he would explain everything to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus uses this parable to tell us about the kingdom of God. He explains many things to us. Have you ever planted a seed? Did you do anything to help it grow? I have onion seeds that are kind of big. I have pumpkin seeds. I have green bean seeds. I have, even I have flower seeds. In these planters, I have basil seeds and cilantro seeds that have now grown up to these pretty plants that I'll use to cook with. But Jesus is talking about a mustard seed. Have you ever seen a mustard seed? Look at this onion seed is big. This mustard seed you can't even see. It is teeny, teeny, tiny. This teeny, tiny mustard seed will grow into a great big plant as tall as I am and as big as I can reach. And it said the birds would sh shelter in their shade. This onion seed only grows into an onion that tall and that big. Jesus is telling us even when we have faith, this teeny tiny faith, it belongs to the kingdom of God and it will grow and grow. I just planted mustard seed in there. What did you use to help your seeds grow? You added soil, somewhere I added water. These are the things our plants need to grow. But what do you need to grow into the kingdom of God? What can you help plant today? When we help God's kingdom grow, we know that it will grow because God is the one who gives us life. If we plant seeds of peace and pe seeds of forgiveness and seeds of kindness every day, we help the kingdom grow. That's just what Jesus wants us to think about today. That is the way the kingdom grows. By people like you and me planting seeds and letting the kingdom grow. Today, I challenge you to share that kingdom. Share kindness and love and helpfulness with others that you see. And let's close with a prayer. That 
Uh, oh, Divine Father, we are happy to be your sons and daughters. We long for the growth of your kingdom. Help us to grow in faith and discipleship. Through Christ our Lord, amen. I challenge you to plant seeds for the kingdom. Plant love and kindness and joy and be helpful. Have a great week.